Yo guys, welcome to the FYI podcast. I'm back with, you know, the boy Armani, Tate Risks. Rrr. Back with AP. Thank you, you think? thank you for having me here still. Oh, he's so humble. I know. So, <laughs> humble. so humble. God bless uh, you. We've got to be grateful every time, man. You know 100%. 100%. So. We're back with another review episode. Um, we're going to be reviewing Slim, Still Working, Nines, Crop Circle 3, K-Trap, Heady 1, Strength to Strength, Drake, for all the dogs. A lot to get through, man. Where should we start? You run it, big man. Yeah, I run it. Yeah, I run yeah. it. I run it, yeah. big man. Get me. Get me. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, let's start with Nines, Crop Circle 3. All right, let me get my notes. <laughs> How are we hey. feeling about that off, just off the first? like Just hearing the word Crop Circle 3? Yeah, yeah. Boy. Why'd you breathe like that, though? Because fam, like, if, if, if anyone who knows me and yeah, knows, like, man is an overly Nina man. Like, back from back yeah. in the day, like, I'm talking about from his first mixtape, Church Road to Hollywood, that I know about. Maybe his maybe mixtapes before that. But from Church Road to Hollywood onwards, up until one foot out, yeah. I was with him to the max. Yeah, yeah. After I, one foot out, I started to now, like, mm, nines. He lost you after one foot out. He, he started to lose me. Yeah. He didn't lose you completely? Not completely, okay. because like, you know when you held someone to such a high regard, yeah? It's like, oh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you ultimate chances. Yeah. So nines, I, I started giving nines a chance. I keep get, giving him chances up until crop circle two. Yeah. I was like, I'm not giving him another chance. And then I knew we had to do this. So I had to give him another chance. Yeah. And maybe I was being a bit harsh. That's what I will say. Okay. Maybe I was being a bit harsh on him still. Okay. Okay, what about you? Crop Circle Three is a, it's a tricky one for me. So like, I think that, it's first of all I was thinking that ah, why is it not ah, the singles? I'm gonna start with the singles first. I think thank like Nines has to like I hope like, everyone like follows Nines' blueprint when it comes to the single. He's actually trying to make good singles in it. Like mm -hmm. singles where it's like it's replay value. You know what I'm saying? Like I like that. Um, the one with Tunde, I do. I like the. Mm. I really like the hook in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My it's, man killed the hook. It's a that. good hook still. It's a good hook. It's a good single. I like that. I'm an innocent man. I think it's a banger. Hard. One of my favorite songs on the project. Literally. Um, the innocent man, amazing hook, amazing hook. Um, even um, it's not my cup of tea, but I get it. The, um, the Cockney thing. What's it? The toxic. Toxic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the toxic again. I not got my a lot of hate. Of, not my cup of tea, but again, it's a single. Yeah, He's I understand why you done it still. Yeah, it's a single, and I feel like. A lot of people don't like where the game is at now in general. I'm, I'm glad no one's done it. It's like people are like traditionally you got album fillers. So traditionally, in the label wouldn't even let you release music, an album, yeah. without single, without two, three singles. Yeah. Because the singles what usually sells the album, mm -hmm. right? So that's traditionally. So when you hand in your album, if you ain't got a single, the album ain't coming out. We need the singles. A lot of artists have lost that. And then so what? What's happening now is people are releasing what traditionally would be an album filler mm. or a song for the streets. They're releasing that as their single. Mm. This well, is can the you give an example of that? This is the reason why everybody, this is the reason why, if you notice this year, there's no, people are not really, there's not, how many, how many singles from the culture has gone sil silver or gold? You, you mm. pay attention to these mm. things. Not much this year. Decreasing. Mm. Yeah. No, it's decreasing because you know, it's everybody's just drop, dropping. What's traditionally what was on your album filler that you'd listen to? Because a single has to have replay value. It sets the tone. It's, it's got to be something that's easy, easy digestible. Mm. So, for example, at cool, I went to um, a festival in Norwich, the one I saw you at, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I went to the crowd to just to, to study people. So what I realised is every all the mandem that were performing, yeah, the hard shit, the girls, like the, the girls didn't know the words. The mm -hmm. girls are just like, obviously the white people are quite quite a good, good crowd, friendly mm -hmm. crowd in general. So they were dancing, but they did not know the words to any songs. Mm -hmm. It's only the mandem was spitting, yeah? Mm -hmm. But when Sprinter come on, yeah, the girls was it went mad, and yeah. the girls were singing it word for word. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I heard obviously when that was made, I don't know how credible my source is, was that was particularly targeted at girls. Mm -hmm. So traditionally, if you see, for example, when you listen to Fifty Cent in the club, the first thing you hear when the beat comes on, is, "Go shorty, it's your birthday." Fifty Cent's a street nigga, mm -hmm. he's a road rapper. The first song he's saying, "Go shorty," is targeting women. It's mm -hmm. your birthday. Like yeah. single traditionally, that's what you would get an R&B singer on the hook. And then they'll put a rapper. Traditionally, road rappers, the singles traditionally targeted at women. Mm. It's because it's to dance, vibe in a club. That's what Afrobeat's doing well. You could dance. What's happening now with these rappers, these road rappers, they've completely, and this is why sales are decreasing. Yeah. And this is why I kind of, let's bring it back to Nines. What the good thing I liked about Nines is Nines actually attempts to make singles. Mm. Like these are singles and these are album fillers. 
of the track. And I think I like that, but I feel like a lot of the game needs to understand that when you have a single, it has to have a song that has replay value. Mm. It has to have a hook. You know what I mean? Are you feeling the singles though? I mean, Innocent Man, I really like. Mm. Um, the, that wasn't a single though, was it? It is. It was it's a, a single. It's, it's a video. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm Innocent slow. Man. Yeah, yeah. I really, actually, that's one of my favorite songs on the album. Banger that is. That's I, really, the, I think that is my favorite. Yeah, that's a, a, a proper song. Like, a proper song. Um, the I Do... I'll be honest with you, when I see Nines and Tunde, I'm thinking, ooh. Would they sound? I don't think yeah. that the, them two done what they're supposed to do, but the guy on the hook, he killed it. He yeah, made yeah, that song. Yeah, yeah. He actually Mugs. made that song. Yeah, Mugs. he made that song. He I like that Tunde was like remixing Nines bars throughout the throughout the verse though. I kind of liked it still. Yeah. I, but because of my old school Nines, man, I'm hearing, oh, that's an old school Nines yeah, bar. Okay, just remix. So you get me? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. I like that still. Because yeah. that, uh, that shows he's paying attention, you get yeah. me? Chemistry. Yeah, it's but chemistry. as far as the album, I'm, I'm the same with him. It's like, it's weird. It's like, because I was asking myself when I was listening and doing the homework, I was like, is this a bad album? And I said, no, the album's not bad. And I said, it's, so what is it that's, 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 that you think is missing? And I thought, I think it's impossible for Nines to be shit, I can't lie, mm. just in general. Mm. But I, don't, I think Nines one of the rappers, he can't be shit. He's always mm. going to give you wordplay. His story is authentic, so mm. you feel it. You get it? It's that feeling, you feel it when he's rapping. His story is authentic, <coughs> but there's just something Structure. that's not... The same as it was before. Probably, no, I think it's it is structure. personally, yeah. I yeah. personally think, I may be wrong, yeah, but I reckon it's the, uh, I reckon it's too far removed from it right now. What I mean by too far removed is, yeah, you remember Nines back in the day, like he'd still go shoot a, a, a video on his block, yeah. 700 men on the block. Like I don't feel, I feel as if like the art of that's been lost now. Now he's chilling with Alhan. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, Which yeah. is calm. because he's, content, do, but then, but he's then, doing a movie with Alhan. I get, I get why he's doing it. But then it. the content's still the same though. Yeah, but the, you see what you're saying about the the, uh, the story's authentic. Obviously, the backstory's yeah. authentic, yeah? But, like, nowadays, we ain't checking for Nines' Snapchats on the block. And that's what we liked before. We liked the camar but, but, camaraderie but, but how of... How does that affect the music, then? If it's because it's all about the believability factor. I agree, but I think it's more... It's not the same Nines that we fell in love with. Pause. That's what I feel, like, I feel like, like that. He's, he's complaining in, in the album about... Um, Warner budgets and all of that. I love it that. used to be. It used to be about him, the trap he, that he's complaining about. Now he's but complaining about that. Warner that's, budgets. That's his reality and, now. I, love I know. That. No, like, I get it. People, I get it. But that's what, accept but, that. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying that's the reason why. Do you know what I think it is? His thing ain't. Well, not his, his thing's still popping and going in and that. But that's why I feel like you're saying there's something missing. The thing I think is missing is a little bit of the relatability factor, bro. Because the average youth can tell you about the block, but the average youth can't tell you about the Warner budget. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel as if him telling us about the Warner budget and not. Posting, not doing a video on his the same classic nines video. I feel like that's where he's kind of losing the uh, um, original nines that we knew. I, yeah. I, I can't lie, you know, it is obviously. I think you, you're not allowing him to grow because I love that. I'm not gonna lie. See that particular bar? Mm. I loved it because I love, and that's why I like nines. You're, mm. you're, you're painting me your reality. Mm. Yeah. A lot of the stuff he's talking about nines is a, is a very honest rapper. That's mm. why I, like. I fuck with him, but what I personally think, because I thought like, what is it? Because there's just something missing, and I, I think he's um, I just think his mind's in movies. I think mm. you can't serve two masters. I think I don't think he's all the way in music. Mm. He's more all the way in trying to master the movie team. Mm. I don't I think, think he's ever been all the way in music yeah, though. Ever? Nah, I don't think he's yeah, ever been. Maybe not. Yeah. He ain't never been the guy who's just full fledged music. But hear me, this is what I wanted from Nines last time. I feel like I semi got it a little bit. So this is what I'm saying. I need to stop being so harsh on Nines here because, bro, like what I wanted, yeah, was like you to stop saying, oh, yeah, my next album, I'm going to stop trapping. This, now next time, promise you, next time I see ya, I won't be trapping. And I feel like he kind of this time, even with the intro and that, when he's saying about, oh, like people still phoning him for the packs yeah. and that, he's saying, bro, can't you see? I'm not yeah. doing this no more. He's made that transition. I kind of like that yeah, now. I, like I, I that do like well. that. That's what gave me the, like that. Because I thought his content was getting a bit samey, which is like the, oh yeah, I'm about to stop trapping, but not quite yet. Yeah. You get me? Whereas I feel like now he's kind of accepting, I am a big man now. So I'm yeah. going to chill. I disagree. Yeah. When it comes to nines about the samey content, I'm going to disagree with you on that in the general, in the sense where like, even though Nine predominantly talks about hustle, yeah, Nine is the one of the best at doing it. I'll tell you why. He gives you every side of it, one, mm. and he gives you every side of his life. So like he'll have rap songs talking about his family. Mm -hmm. He has uh, raps talking about the, the industry. He has raps talking about girls. Like Nine is like, I'm not going to lie, Nine is one of the best rappers in terms of talking about his whole round reality and not so mm. not so pigeonholed. Yeah, in yeah. One thing, because I can't stand the rapper that's <laughs> I just agree. literally talks about 
the same thing 24-7. I yeah, think yeah. Nine, oh, nines, nines is quite... Nines is quite vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Even he's even got the girl tune in there, yeah. and that's another thing as well. Like, got um, yeah, the girl tune. First of all, that girl tune is, is hard. I, it should have had two verses. Mm. It's, I don't know why they, they have two verses. Oh yeah, but quickly before I forget, mm. another thing Nine that I love what Nines does. Yeah, it just shows you like he's on a different level frequency thinking. Like his last album, I think his thing was Crop Circle Two. He had the Carla speaking mm. yeah, yeah, on one yeah, song, yeah, hard. and then in this one he had George the Poet. He's going for like these are the these are like the. The, the, our, our, our brains our, 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 one of our greatest thinkers in our yeah, industry yeah. and he's mm -hmm. he's going for these people and, and, and allowing them a space to spit gems a bit of gems for the for the younger generation yeah, I, think it's, I think that's hard I, I, I like love that he does I that feel, I feel like he's kind of done a little a bit of a like a speech of a little bit of a like smart speech on most of his albums then. Yeah. He does it like a little bit of a like a, yeah. a reflection smartness type of thing. Yeah, which and obviously used the caller last time saying George Pope this time hard. Yeah. But him, Edo. Well go back to the repetitive content thing, yeah. That or oh, um for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I know it's on a different yeah, album, yeah, 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 but yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday thing, yeah. yeah. He done that, yeah. And I remember his fire in the booth back in the day where he's talking about, oh, my my East chick smokes too much yeah. weed. Yeah, yeah. This person, this yeah, chick, yeah. there, boom, boom. That's the same tune, man, again. So I'm thinking that he's done, he's done the, the, the girl tunes. He kind of does them kind of similar. Like, yo, I got oh, okay. 3,000 chicks. This is what this chick does. That's what yeah, that yeah. chick does. This chick annoys me. This chick's cool. Boom, boom, boom. So I feel like that's what I mean by he may do his whole life around but sometimes he does the exact same thing yeah. about his whole life. Yeah. But this one, I feel as if he kind of moved on a bit. I, I liked it. And even, um, bruv, uh, I like the beats, man. The beats was, was, there was so many, even like the beats would be big nasty. Mm -hmm. Again, that's not particularly a song that I particularly really like, but I like that it was different. Mm. When, when I listen to an album, I hate samey, samey. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. have to go through different moods. And I love the fact that, and even though, I think from the aspect of a weed smoker that were talking in that particular yeah. song, I think that was clever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. I, I feel like I feel like I like I do kind of like the fact he's pushing into this weed thing because it's like one we don't have one over here. Yeah. Well, you don't. Well, you don't like that. You think it's wet? You I don't, don't like it. it. I, I find it corny, kind of like. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't smoke weed. But I don't. So I can't relate. To I don't it. smoke yeah, weed. Yeah, yeah. I think why. it's sick. I don't. So I think he's branding. I think he's branding. I think he's one of the most genius. When it comes to branding and marketing, I think he's so clear of everyone. Nah, and I'll tell you why. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, ski. Nines. Bro, listen. I, 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 was trying to chill. I was trying to chill, but let's be honest. Nines, bro. Marketing branding. and branding. Nine, marketing and branding. Okay. My man disappears for years and that, bro. <laughs> bro, my man, for like, I'm sure for at least, for he disappeared. But I, I'll never forget. He had the picture of when he was in his Averix back in the day. Yeah. That was on his gram for like two years. No, up, no recent pictures, bro. <laughs> like that geezer disappears. No, I don't think his marketing and branding is the great. He's one of the marketing and branding. Like the crop cats, he would do a whole Hard. movie around it. He would do a whole movie around it. The whole cinema stuff, even the t-shirts. Like, right. He got a glow in the dark. That, that, that was hard. That. That, no, no, that's campaign. That's not marketing and branding as a person. That's campaign. That's a campaign. It's not branding. He done. He done Monopoly last year. Good campaign. He's got. I know him. He's nine, got good campaigns. Nine, nine, tell me, nine as a brand, yeah, as a brand, he's not a great, one of the greatest brands we've got. As no a brand, wow. he's not the greatest brand in the UK. One of the, one of the greatest. No, he's one of the. He's, in he's the UK, nine's, what image is? Nines is by far as a brand. Because look, when you think of nines, right, you know give me some brands up there. Give me some people that's up there. Give me example. Go on. You see, branding is like okay. When you think of Nike, you, branding is a feeling. You know exactly. You can so you're thinking of weed with nines now? Is that what you're saying? Weed now. Just now. Yeah. Weed hustler. Yeah. Yeah. Like. He does that Harlem thing. Like, yeah, you know, hard. It'd be like he's he's hard. very consistent. Nines is very consistent with his brand. Even for example, he is. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. for example, okay. like he's a, he's a jokey guy. Like he's yeah, like yeah. even though he's not one of like uh, a street fuck that you can't approach. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, can yeah. approach him. He will be friends with our hand. And yeah, open yeah, yeah. About it, you But you're not. Sick. I don't feel like. That's not brand. That don't, As a brand, it's a what, whole brand. Right, cool. That's how you describe Brandon. What's what's your idea of Brandon? I'm no. The hear me. Don't, no. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Yeah. You, no. He's right. What he's saying. I just don't think he's. The, one of the best at doing it. Oh, who does yeah. better no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, no, okay, tell me, give me, some, to, give me some more people that's no, up no, there. No, okay, wait, wait. I'm just trying to think. When it comes to marketing rollout now, yeah. album week, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nines is going crazy. Market, yeah. Who does, okay, in terms of marketing, we're talking about marketing. Yeah, yeah. Who does better marketing than Nines in uh, rappers? Cent Central C, one. He paints his whole city orange yellow. Yeah, that, that's think, one. Do you know what it is? I'm not going to lie. I, I, I can't think right now, Cent. But I just think nine. You see, with nine, yeah, this is what I think. Bro, with nine. my man had a horse in their trenches, bro. Yeah, Cent is good, yeah. Cent is just, is this Cent? The impact's always going to be bigger because he's because he's so big. So mm. I think it's a bit. Hot, all right, cool. Afraid. All right, cool. So I want to keep everyone else. I'm going to give yeah, yeah. All right, then let's take Sench right. out of it. Uh, all right, let's think though. Let's think. Let's I'll think. I tell you what, nine does well. So like on rollout week, this is where people, a lot of people fell. Every, K Trap's got good branding. Yep. K 
K Chuck's got good branding, but he's nowhere near as good as Markin as Nines. No one is close. He doesn't have the budget to be as good. No, but you know, it's not, it's not even no, just that. He, 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 he ain't as outspoken or no, as. But no, no, no. You, can, you don't have to be outspoken. Like marketing, yeah, it's just different strategies to go on attention when his album is. She's nine. Yeah, but no, that's what I'm saying. We're talking about two different things. You're talking about his marketing when it comes to album time. I'm talking about branding as a person. K Trap is, okay. no, is a very well rounded branding think, yeah, as, brand, as a person. A, I think K Trap is a very good brand, but I'm saying if we're talking about when it comes to now marketing, like marketing, nine. See what nine does? Okay, she she like nine, yeah. Nah, this uh, hear me. Sorry, this rollout. I give him marketing. He gave out weed. Every, he went crazy. Yeah. This rollout, what rollout? What, what, last rollout? what the monopoly in the roadside? That's what, oh, I, that's what right. I remember. Like, last rollout was really good, but it's just because I can't. That's what I'm saying. But you should remember. Listen, I remember listen, listen, that listen, rollout. Listen, 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 you're listen, talking about the, listen, the monopoly was crabs in the bucket. No, but, but listen. Even the rollout where he had the. When he's talking to the therapist, why is his rollout so That's sick. not a rollout, that's a movie, fam. Do you know what? That's, yeah, but that's a part of the campaign. Yeah, that's yeah, really part of the campaign. Why does it come out when the album's hard? That was hard. That was, yeah, that was hard because he, he, he addressed something publicly but that everyone told me. Yeah. Yeah. Has man nah, telling me Nines' nice market is not good. I swear, I should have done some research on this one. Oh my days, you know what? Man's really telling me Nines ain't one of the best when it comes to marketing. Nah, you know we said we changed it. Now we changed it. We changed it. We said brand. Nah, nah, nah. You said he's one of the best brand. Yes, he is. When you talk about campaigns, yeah, he's got some of the best campaigns we've seen. You know why he makes it a moment. This is a problem. See, see, you see when you drop something as well, yeah. It's like uh, when Storms is done, no one made you do it. That was a moment. Yeah. That was a moment in culture. Yeah, yeah. Like you have to go on attention. See when nines when nines are dropping albums, and this is another thing a lot of artists don't do. When a lot of artists drop music, it's not a moment. Obviously, you have to be of a certain caliber to mm -hmm. make it a moment. Yeah. You need to be because you if you're not, if you haven't got a kind of like a cult like following or a good following where people are that invested, you can't make it a moment. So I understand Absolutely. that. So not everyone yeah. can do what Nines does. But for those that have got that, that can garner that kind of interest, Nines is so far ahead as most when it comes to that rollouts. Like so far. It's not even close. Like it's not even close, bro. Um, I, I hate you, bro. I, I don't know. Do you know what? Let me see if I even got notes on his, on his, on his, um, Cause you know it is I can't let you get away with that one. See, nah, man. Bro, it's burning me that you're getting away with nines being the number and nine. I'm a nines man, you know. So I have to put this out there for people who want to crop it and just make it sound like I'm not this in nines. I'm not this in nines. I ain't talking about you by the way. Yeah. But I'm not this in nines. Yeah. Nines is hard. You get what I'm saying? I'm just saying I don't think he's got the one of the best brands in the whole UK. Brand, no, so. I like him as an artist, like his brand as an artist. Yeah, I think he's got one I, of the best brands. I don't think he's he's believable. If, like, even, okay, okay, yeah, even I if they up terms of green. He changed, the, he changed, the changed unknown team made it red. I get fam. you. No, and I, I get sick. you. I get you in terms and of. And he put like, the roses behind that him. Was, oh, it's <laughs> bloody no, hell! Brandon no, no. is getting a bit creative nowadays. I, I hear you in terms of we we believe him or whatever he can say. He he went to Mars. We believe him because he's just got that kind of credibility. Yeah, but. Brandon, I think that's like, one of the best brands. He can't go in the like the BBC will never let him on. So no, there's, uh, he's, he's a, people don't want to go nowhere near brand. him because you know, he's, he's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Your brand, he's like, got beef. I don't no, think no, it's what brand. Saying, what I'm saying, but that's his brand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your brand, nah, nah, brand, nah, 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 his brand, brand, your brand, his flaws work to his. Yeah, listen, just because you can't go to the BBC, that's his brand. The reason he can't go to the BBC is because of his brand. That's what I'm trying to say. I hear what you're saying. So his brand is on like he's on. I think this. I'm gonna stand on this now. Yeah, I think Nines has best one, he's one of the best brands out of all the rappers. And I think when he comes to marketing a rollout, he, he's he's so far ahead of so, much, so many people. I would like. say his rollout's mad. I yeah, agree, so I agree with the rollout. Like, he cares, you know what it is with his? He puts a lot of effort in his rollout. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah. like a lot of people, not, and what I'm saying is like, it's the creativity. Even for example, bro, the pair of things. You know that thing that the, 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 the when it's on, um, you see when you go to the fair? Yeah, you know, no, things that grab the, the yeah, things yeah, that yeah, yeah. He done that thing, he's done that, he done, he's so creative with it. Mm, I hear that. He does, he does little things like that, that people are not gonna, people are not gonna go through those lengths and do those little things, mm. bro. That's just the truth. When his albums and people are not doing that. Every time Nines drops an album, it's a big moment. Okay, mm. so you guys- I agree. Okay, I agree. so what are we saying for the album though? I, I get campaign, we're, we're probably giving him a, we all agree that his campaigns are, yeah, are amazing. Top tier. Especially this one. Throwing out weed in the streets and, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Crop circle free. Really give the crop circle vibe. Yeah. What about the um oh yeah, we spoke about the lead singles. We're not really you you said that he should have he could have chose different. No, I said I said he was on I think the singles, I'm he's he's he, He's done way better than most people when it comes to singles. Okay. People have lost the art of singles. Okay. Like people have completely lost the art of singles, bro. Like yeah. so, sometimes on a Thursday and it's like, bro, like how are you thinking this is a single, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah agree. Like this is an album filler, bro. Yeah. Who in your team? And that's the thing, your artists need to start listening to A&Rs, mm. bro. I hear you. You know, like, I hear you. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna quickly just say this. Let me hang, hang hear me out, yeah? 
being a crazy talented rapper and creating good singles is two different skills, right? Yeah. Rappers need to put like be okay understanding like traditionally to create hit music requires a team. So traditionally, for example, they'll send you to the studio with Timberland. Mm. Right, Timberland will do the beat. Then they'll sell, they'll get Pharrell to write the hook. And writing a hook is not ghostwriting. Yeah, yeah. Writing a hook is songwriting skills. It's completely different. So someone can write hooks for you. That's not good like ghostwriting because again, you could be a talented ly lyrical rapper, but your skill set, you don't know how to make hit singles. Mm. So that requires a team. So artists need to understand that like, when it's time to go single, it's okay to go with a team. They used to send you to whoever's the hottest producer at the time, say so Dr. Dre, Timberland, they'll pay them a quarter of a million. Mm. They'll pay um, Pharrell, the big producers, that's what they do. They pay you. They pay whoever, whoever's the artist producer at that time, the label pays them. They'll go, they'll have a songwriter, the songwriter will create the, the hook, and then you rap on the verses. Do you get mm -hmm. it? That's how you create hit singles. Yeah. What a lot of rappers have to understand, understand is you, you could be the sickest rapper, but you did not know how to create singles. Go in with people that create singles. And I feel like what I'm happy with what Nines did is Nines attempted to actually do singles. Mm. And then he had like the ICE, the, um, with all the I City, those tracks, like their mm. album fillers. I would have done a video for that. It's a street banger. Mm. Um, but they, their album fillers, he understands, I think he understands that a lot of these artists don't know that. Yeah. Mm. Like, pff, you're just talking, there's no hooks and shit. How is that a single? Yeah. It's dark. Yeah. It's a freestyle. It's, it's dark. A freestyle, yeah. It's just dark. It's, it's, it's violent. Mm. I'm going like, dig that thing. It's, it's violent. Yeah. It's yeah. dark. It's like, bro, how is that palatable to the, uh, let me, for example, I'm not an Afrobeat avid fan. I'm not a dancehall avid fan. But how, why do I know Popcorn, Movado, Vibes Cartel, Mm. Um, the singles. Burner Boy is their singles. They're singles, yeah. I know Burner Boy, Whiskey, it's because they're singles. And what is it? The singles more time make you dance. Yeah. Make you vibe. That's how you know the singles. Singles, what, what singles work? Singles are supposed to be for the masses. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And then the, your album tracks, all of that's supposed to be for your core fans. fans. And yeah. I think people don't, people have gone away from that. I, fair play. That's fair play. Fair play. What, what about you, um, Amani? What, in terms of um, his lead singles? Are you, are you rating... Are you rating his lead singles? I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, the, the 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 Tunde one. I like the I like the chorus on that. Yeah. And uh, what about toxic. Not for me, bro. Toxic. But that's not for us, though, is it? Yeah, it's not for me. Still, that's not that. He, I, he, I, I, I appreciate I, the growth. I didn't think it was bad. I appreciate the growth. I yeah. appreciate that. He didn't make it for the man. Nines probably wouldn't have done that five years ago, ten I, years ago. You guys understand? Why yeah, 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 I yeah, get yeah, it, bro. Yeah, I think that was calm. Okay, cool, 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 definitely. Yeah, but that's not for us. But that's why he's smart. That's why he released like Innocent Man, all of that for us. Yeah. The Innocent Man tune is too hard. Oh, that, that's yeah. proper banger. And oh my day, I meant to say this. Listen, man, needs to start giving Tiggs the author his credit out here, bro. Oh my days, you know, Blade Brown spun that as well. And scrap, S but, spun it. Oh Blade, my. Brass, Blade Brown Blade was crazy. Hey, listen to this as well. I've got another tick. See, Man just, man just, man just killed off Tiggs the offer again though. <laughs> Shout out Tiggs the offer. Tell Tiggs the offer. Your man. Big up Tiggs. Big up Tiggs. the offer is saving, no, saving choruses. Yeah, he's saving. Yeah, he's saving. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. And that's what I'm saying. Those are the kind of men you go and, you go and say, okay, I've got a single. Can you jump? Can you do the hook? When it's that's, album time, you have to shout Tiggs. Yeah, you need to shout They're the men you shout. You shout Hayley from Western. These are the men that you shout. When it's time now, I need a single. You need to go to single men. That's when back in the day, they'll put you in the studio with Usher do the hook. They'll get Chris Brown to do the hook. People understand that's single, but Blade Brown's verse. Too hard. If, bro, you see, Blaze, his last few features are being in nuts, bro. Mm, mm, mm. His last few features have actually been nuts, bro. He's moving, obviously, just because he hasn't put out enough music, but he's mm. moving like, he can actually, if he drops the right project, he can be contender for best rapper, best rapper in the game as well. You think? Bro, but his features are just nuts. I know, I might be reaching, you but think? his features are that good, though. I might be... Did I, did I overdo it there? Not, yeah, not for me, man. not for me. I'm a Blade me, Brown fan. I can oh, hear that. I'm man. not gonna lie. From his, what I've heard of him, I can hear that from Blade. What, oh, what I've heard of him man. from, what I've heard of him. Every time I hear him, I feel like, bro, like if the project's right, you're definitely, you can definitely, you have you, the way you're moving, you can be contender for like. <laughs> me personally, I think that I, I, bro, I think Blade's a rap. I think Blade can rap, fam. I'm a Blade fan. Blade is in my, like he's in my arguable top five. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like argue, I can, I can hear an argument that like, Nine, you can try and take him out, but bro, he's in my top five. Nines is my top five, but if I'm completely honest, the last few albums, it's like, I just like Nines. I like Nines. Like, yeah, 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 I hear that. I hear like, that. Not like, I just, I, Nines was number one for me. Yeah, he, he, used go, five, yeah. num, he used to go. He used to go. Nines Potter. I'm gonna say it, DVS was in there. Oh, man. Yeah, but, but I'm saying no, it. No, Mute, talk about music, yeah. bro. No, he can rap. Talk about music. There was DVS a time. There was a time. There was a time. Nines was my number one as well. Nines Potter DVS. Timber Blade Brown. Uh, we, let's quickly. Uh, who's the best crazy. now? Like Potter, it. Potter's best now. Yeah, yeah. Potter's now, 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 now. Yeah, yeah. I, I can give it to Potter. Now, still rapping wise, writing on the album 
Everyone, like, I think Nine's got some bars, man. He dropped yeah, some gems yeah, on yeah. us, like, like my accountant's on me because I spent a mil. Yeah, yeah, said, yeah. calm down, I'm about to sign a movie deal. He's, he's talking his shit in there. Yeah, Nine's big money talk, man. Like, yeah. He always has been, though. Yeah, he's, 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 he's on his, he's yeah, on his like grind. I'm rocking with it still. Like still. Cool. Production. Really? Yeah, I, thought, I, think I, think I think Nine's comes with good production still. Yeah. 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 I think nine's, nine's good again, with his production. Again, it's not a boring album. You know, some albums you listen to, you think, oh, this is getting a bit boring. Do you it's think really... he was a bit ungrateful to Warner, though? Like, the way he's saying. I can't lie, yeah. From an outside looking in, yeah, when he was with Warner, he was bigging up Warner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, when he was with Warner. I remember them time then. Yeah. And then now I'm thinking, bro, now, like, like, you're popping down Warner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But you know what, though? <laughs> but you know what? But remember, one thing, it's, it's, it's hard having. I, 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 try, I try not to have too much opinions and label stuff because. One, when he signed, the person, the people that signed him, probably not there no could have been not be there towards the end of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 Remember, yeah. people move around labels so often, so that's number one. So you don't know. And then with label stuff, I'm not gonna lie, you like, you, you got to hear it for always all the time. You got to hear it from both sides because yeah. the artist will tell you one thing, and then the label will tell you from their perspective, and then yeah. and it's usually in between in the middle of that. Mm, but the truth is, yeah. So fair play, fair play. Two goats and Nick. <laughs> No, I respect my like, guy, man. Who's Gio? Who's Gio? Respect my guy. Nick's a no, goat, Gio, bro. Gio, man. Respect to my guy, bro. What? Who's that? Put my put respect to Gio, my guy. Gio's, Gio's the, my co-host. Oh, uh, overdone. Yeah, I've seen overdone stuff. Respect yeah, to Marnie yeah, as well. Marnie's come from Brom, bro. Respect to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's yeah, like, yeah, holding yeah. that fresh Brom? The motorway. Like, he's like, he's, he's going he's, he's to have to be the voice that's holding it down for over there. Come on, man. 100%. Brom's getting slept on car. Music scene's kind of... Do you know why? In the toilet. <laughs> Do you know why though? I'm using things in the toilet, let's be honest. Uh, no. What? My, my favourite albums right now from, from, from K Money and KB. Oh yeah, but free the guys, they're my, my favourite my, my favorite K album Money's right from now. my ends, man. Shout out K Money. My, my, they're me? my favourite album right now. They've got a joint album right now. Yeah, it's Time is Money. Oh, is it out? No, it's um, Fuck the Charts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah my favourite album. Shout right out to man. man, shout out to man. Other than them, obviously, they're in jail, man, so we kind of- Remember, remember with Brom, there's Bear Division. Stardom, Star- yeah, Stardom's gone. I don't know if we can say that. Now. Can we say that? Yeah, now? he's gone. Man. Yeah, man, not gone, but he's not here right now. Yeah, Stardom's not there. Yeah, KB's not there. KB's, KB's not there. KB's not there. Look, you see, Mons. Yeah, he's blowing. He's signed to. Um, can I say on, on, Them man. Can I say live or not? Mm-hmm. We I mean, know. Everyone, I think everyone, everyone knows, knows that. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got, he's, he's got the same management. He's a wide beat, but he's from jail, fam. And then, yeah. fam, you know that? So I think he's one of my brothers in jail. Um, in the life, in the life of jail, bro. Imagine. So, because I said to him. He's, he's in jail with all of them. So he's mm. like, see that Liverpool with you, that's, the song's going off at the moment. Yeah, Mazza. He's just signed a deal. Has he? He's been, oh, he's been offered yeah, like, yeah. from behind there. Oh, okay, he's taken. He's, he's getting offered a six-figure deal Sad from there. Sad KB, man. Mons, listen, listen, Mons has just been, obviously, he's patting up snatched with them, up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. snatched up, and he's in jail. And then KB, probably, so, to me, the jail niggas are making better music. They are, they are, Cuddy. You know why? They got the soul. They got, yeah, it's from the they soul, bro. The yeah. They ain't yeah. seen anything from They're in there with nothing to lose. Yeah, they recorded. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this to be on. This this to be on, bro. Ah, oh, we yeah. missed it. Yeah, what's his name? Montalone's hard, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hard. Sick hard. Out. Bro, this, I don't want to go off a sentence on the, on the tangent too much, but some of the best albums now this year have come from people in jail now, and the and the, the people that's in all in the same jail right now, at least two of them are getting offered a deal. They need bro. something for KB. KB I was dropped. just about to say K- KB, KB, is the dad. KB and K Money got one of my favorite album right now. KB is the KB father. And What's got KB's my favorite thing called again? Um, Fuck the temp, temp, no, temp Jubilee. Temp Jubilee. Temp yeah. Jubilee is the one that man really. Rocked Boys it. don't cry is cold. What's the album you dropped that last year? Though? I didn't even Boys know don't he cry. had a new I know. album. F the charts. Uh, Fuck no, the charts. Boys don't cry. What's the one after cold. Boys don't cry? No, the album Boys dropped last cry. year was, 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 was. I think it was the Temp Jubilee one. Nah, nah, that was this year. There's another one. Um, I heard Temp Jubilee then. Nah, man, I can't, bro. It's pissed me. I ain't gonna lie, KB's my. Bro, I, I was a lion. That's the one. That's the was one. A was a lion. lion. That was yeah. cold. He was. I, I don't know if the um, the camera got this, but I was. I said big up, big up, nine. He done fourteen k independently on the Zeno Records. That's crazy. That's big business, man. Big him up for that. Number two, if Drake, but well, it's Drake in it. Like number, you're gonna get the number two to mm. Drake. Um, so that, he would've got the number one if Drake weren't dropping in it. Yeah, he definitely would've got the number one if Drake didn't drop. There was nothing in his way. Apart from Drake. That being said, let's move on to Drake's. 